What is up, MFers? Hope you guys are having an amazing friggin' day. I'm all jacked up because uh, I've had a couple energy drinks this morning. Not because I've been met with this winter wonder freaking land out here. Yeah, I got the boat back behind me, so obviously gonna dump it in. Look at this, we got a snowy boat. There's like, uh, you can't tell. There's like six inches of snow by the end. We're gonna have to throw her in four wheel drive. The damn truck might be going into the lake. Oh my God, this boat ramp is slick. This is gonna be interesting, but the good news is it snowed two days ago, so we're the first ones that are dumb enough to be launching in the snow. Yeah, this isn't a good idea. I don't think this is a good idea at all. This snow is literally like, over a foot deep. It might be a better idea at this point to go get a shovel in town and scoop the snow off. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do that. Let's go get a snow shovel in town, come back and uh, scoop this. Cause otherwise we're gonna be getting the truck stuck. All right, $11.98. I think this will be the trick. Let's get this scooped off here at the ramp cause I don't want to slide my truck in. I still might anyways cause the ice. And I'll tell you what we're doing in this debacle today. There's ice on half the lake. This is gonna be a tough one. Okay, got her finished up. I hope this is wide enough for the boat. Oh, for those of you who think I'm a puss or that I was exaggerating about the thickness of snow, let's do a little measure action. So there's the bottom. And here's about how thick the ice is, snow is, whatever. You guys see what that is? 18 inches. All right, hope this is wide enough. Let's throw the truck in four wheel drive. Back this biatch down, get after some fish. We got a large problem. Um, yeah, that's too icy to uh, pull the boat up out of the water at this point. So, uh, I don't really know what to do. There's a bunch of gravel in the park. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna dump the boat in, see if we can get the truck up, and then I'm gonna scoop a bunch of gravel onto the ramp that's around here, which is gonna be a giant pain in the ass, but I think that's all we're gonna be able to do to get this boat out because it is bad insanely slick. This is a bad idea. All right, boat is launched. Uh, don't know how we're gonna get it out because it's too slick. Actually, I wanna hit the brakes with the boat on the trailer still when I was backing it in. The truck sold about 10 feet down the ramp, which was terrifying, I had nowhere to stop it. So I just spent about another 20 minutes scooping extra snow and ice out from where the truck tires are on the ramp. I don't know if that's gonna work. I'm gonna have to scoop more later. I'm gonna have to go back to the hardware store and get some uh, Sand, we might have to throw some gravel in there. I don't know, but uh, here's the boat. Let's go take the boat and catch some fish. Last week, I went and did some treasure hunting at a lake that had been drained and found a whole bunch of new lures. One of the most, uh, one of the most popular things you guys wanted me to do was to go out and use them. These are the new lures right here. I threw some split rings, some new hooks on them, and we're gonna try to catch some fish today on these baits. You know, it's not gonna be easy. The water's probably 35 degrees. There's ice on half the lake. We're just gonna have to make do, but. Well, with some lipless baits that I found. Hopefully these uh, do the trick. I'm gonna yo-yo them out deep off the bottom. Hopefully let's go find some fish right now. I feel like after what we've been through so far today, we deserve to find some fish. So uh, let's get after them. All right, so we just idled around, found a couple little pods of fish. Now they move around really quick, so we're gonna have to move quick to follow them up. I just tied on this uh, this Booyah, I think, or Excalibur hard knocker. It's the three quarter ounce version we found. I wanted a bigger one because it's gonna sink faster. We're gonna be fishing up to like, 25 to 35 feet of water. So we want something that's gonna get down to the bottom as quick as possible. So we're gonna kind of alternate between this and that uh, in the old blade bait, cause blade bait's been catching them really, really well out here. See which one they like better. Hopefully catch something on a bait that we found. That'd be super cool. My large mouth spot over there that I like to fish has ice on it right now. So we're gonna have to wait till a little bit later. It's supposed to be a little windy today. So hopefully the wind kind of breaks up some of that ice and then we're able to go over there and catch some. But gonna be a challenge today. Honestly, I have a little bit of unused fishing, not knowing how we're gonna get the boat out of the lake. Obviously, it's much heavier to pull the boat out when it's on the trailer than just the trailer by itself. That's why I was able to pull the trailer up there. No problem, kind of no problem. It was still really slick. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know if we're gonna call a tow truck or 
throw a bunch of gravel and shit on the, the ramp and see if that works. But for now, let's fish, let's catch some, hopefully. Water is 36 and a half degrees, air temperature is about 18, so uh, yeah, it's a little chilly. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's what you want it to look like. Now let's catch those. Jesus, I've been trying so damn hard for them. Finally hooked up. Hell yeah. White bass. What's up, Mr. Whitey? Oh my God, I'm so glad I found a school of you and your friends. I don't know if we should keep these guys today. I can't decide. I think we should keep them. Screw it, let's keep them. They're delicious. The skunk is out and they are loaded. And I can't even drop my bait down because there's so much ice in my guides. Gonna have to like cast it straight up in the air and let it fall. That's how you want to do it, folks. Starting to think I wasn't going to catch any because it was too cold. There we go. That one's got some weight to it. Yep. We're going to back off the drag on this guy. Finally found some out here in the channel. And it's not a white. Success. It's large, though. Just snagged a wiper in the bottom of its face. Not a bad one. All right, first wiper of the day. Let me show you something on this wiper too that's kind of funny. Look at this guy's belly right there. That's red from sitting in the clay at the bottom of the lake. Not a giant, probably a four and a half, five pounder, but first wipey of the day. Woo, they're cold. There we go. Oh God, we got something big. Came up here next to a channel flipped in and we might have ourselves a catfish or a big wipey or something weird though right up on the point is it a wiper it is a wiper hell yeah we're gonna net this dude yeah bod <laughs> snagged him i'm the snag master not a giant and they're clearly just like slapping at the bait because i'm getting them in the under the chin this guy is on the side again not a giant but not too bad when the freaking there's ice up there on the water, on the bank, on everything else, and we're catching them. There's a giant school right here, right by a brush pile, and very little water. Oh God, that is a fish. I thought I was snagged for a second. We probably snagged something else. Oh God. We freaking found the mother load of fish. I can't catch them in the damn mouth, but that's not important. Yep, she's pulling drag makes me nervous because my freaking rod is frozen literally frozen i don't know if you can see it looks white part of it oh here he comes wiper in the tail good god we found the freaking wipers we just can't get them to bite but hey catch them in the tail is just as sporting no it's not what's up dude sorry about your tail and such it's crazy it's literally too cold for these fish to bite the fish is insane looking look at the colors on that Later, bud. If you don't spend a lot of time reading uh, side imaging, you might not think much of that. But this is all fish right here. I'll click on it. And we'll zoom in. You can see the shadows below. But that is, we're not moving, so it's kind of hard to see them. But that is all fish right there. I suppose we'll try to catch more. Let's do that. Oh. I literally don't think these fish are biting. That's them stacked on the bottom. And I'm just ripping my freaking bait up off the bottom. Catching stuff that looks like this because there's brush piles everywhere. We got fishing line for days. Is that a fish? What the hell did we hook? Might have a tree. Might have freaking King Kong Godzilla. I don't even know. Yeah, we definitely got a fish and it's definitely large. And it's likely snagged from how the rest of the day is gone. The weird thing is though, this guy got it on the fall, which tells me at some point he probably swiped at it. And look what we got. We, it looks giant, but it wasn't. We got more dinner, even though I threw the other one back because I don't really feel like cleaning fish right now. That right there. White bass. Snagged in the dorsal. Yep, another one. Definitely snagged him. Definitely a white bass, maybe. Yep, 
We're skiing. No, this one tried to eat it. We got a mouth hook. We got a little mouth hooker action. Look at that. Catch her in the mouth. Like a man. What? A hook inside of a mouth? Look at that big old slabby white bass. Hook just popped out too. Well, see you later. The ones that get hooked in the mouth are barely hooked. The ones that I snag wouldn't come off in a million years. This is freaking wild though. I'm usually out there in the middle of nowhere and I'm casting up literally to probably like four or five feet of water and then just popping it off the edge. There's a, a bluff right here with a really sharp drop. I'm actually sitting in like 24 feet of water. It's deep right here. There's another one. Clearly a group of fish right there off the edge. They're eating this thing. I'll link all my tackle, like all my videos down below. These guys are actually eating in the mouth too. These are white bass. These are really big white bass. Tankers. Absolutely awesome. I probably should be keeping them to eat them, but look at that. That's a fruit. That's a stud white bass right there. Just to give you guys a little bit of reference for the size. Let's throw them on the board quick. Close your mouth. Yeah, he's about 17 inches. 17 inches is a big white bass, especially when they're built like that. We got white bass, wipers, giant shad. I assume there's probably some catfish too. Surprised we haven't hooked a big catfish yet. Waiting for that, that'll be badass. But I mean, I was driving by here, just scanning around. There's another one. They are loaded right there. I saw a big school and then I was looking at it. I was like, no, no way. Those aren't fish. There's something on the bank right there. Look at that, freaking tanks. Tank whites, every cast now. But I saw the big school of them up there and I was like, those are freaking fish on my finder. But how in the hell are they? It looks like they're on the damn bank. When they're this close to the bank, it's hard to see fish on side imaging. But these schools are so big, there's literally hundreds of fish in the schools. And I mean, there's there's big wipers roaming around out here. We need to try to catch some more of those, not just snag them. About to tie on one of these other lipless baits we found the other day. See if they'll eat that too. The problem is the lipless doesn't fall nearly as fast. And when I'm working it down this ledge to 25 feet, takes forever for it to get down there. Another one. These fish are thick in here. We found the frick, oh God, what do we got here? Is that a shad? Got the biggest shad in North America. Oh my God, you guys, wait till you see how big this shad is. Thing is a giant. Oh my God. Look at that thing. It's bigger than my shoe. Shad catch and cook. I gotta admit, that's the biggest shad I've ever seen. In case you're wondering, that's what a 17 inch shad looks like. <laughs> Didn't hook him, obviously. I don't even wanna touch him. He's probably disgusting. I wanna lip a shad. I've never lipped a shad before. Their mouths are so small. Question for you, Meffers. You ever seen a shad with a mouth so big you can lip it? Biggest shad in North America, 17 inches. Well guys, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous for what we got to do. Next, uh, as of earlier, could not pull the boat out of the water on the trailer. Time to see if things have improved at all. Otherwise, we're gonna be scooping a bunch of this gravel parking lot onto the ramps, try to get some traction. Never fun, but at least we caught some fish. We did it! The boat is out. We didn't have to call the tow truck. All is good in the world. Look at that freaking scoop job. That's what's up right there. Man, I am jacked. Jacked that we caught fish. Jacked that the boat's not stuck in the lake for winter. I called Porn Stash a second ago and I was like, hey, this isn't good. This is the situation. He's like, man, you're just gonna have to move down there and live there all winter. Let your boat get locked up in the ice and just ice fish off the side of your boat. I don't think it was too bad of an idea given how good the fishing was, even though the water was 35 degrees. Man, it took us a little bit to get going today, but once we did, once we found that big group of fish right against the bank off that drop off, it was super, super fun. Could not make a large mouth happen today, unfortunately. Anyways, though, if you guys like the uh, the braving, the conditions, the cold water fishing and everything, please leave a thumbs up, comment down below what you guys wanna see next. I actually have a surprise for you guys. First thing in the morning, heading somewhere to do a different type of fishing than I've done in a very, very long time. Can't wait, but you guys gotta check back tomorrow or the day after that to watch those videos. Anyways, I will catch you guys very, very soon. I'm out of here, peace. I'm not sorry, I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> 
I'm not sorry I can't stop with a love like mine